Hey guys, here we are in video number two and where we're going to work on some words and today we're going to take a look after I read our story one more time we're going to take a look at the characters names if you remember the author gave us some pretty funny sounding names for the characters like munch crunch mouse and hop stop frog so we're going to take a, uh, a quick look um, today at the characters names okay and that's going to be our just drop Tyrannosaurus Rex off the table and that's going to be our word work for this week. So, the old man's name. Do you remember in video number one how we talked about how the author used the sounds that the animals would make um, normally um, as their talking words, right? Whereas we're used to seeing the word said or asked or words like that, yelled, right? The author decided to use this, the real sounds that the animals, remember this board? That the animals would make um, as their talking words. Remember, squeaked the mouse, croaked the frog, snuffled the rabbit, yapped the fox, growled the wolf, and roared the bear. So, the words that the, the talking words that the author used, decided to use, match the animals that they go with. So let's listen to The Old Man's Mitten. And again, it is an AR book. So after video number three, uh, which is where we, where we write together, um, you're welcome to take an AR test on it. Okay? The Old Man's Mitten. Once upon a time, an old man went for a walk in the woods with his dog. He dropped one of his mittens in the snow as he went on his way. Do you remember? Did he remember that he dropped it? Did he remember right away? Nope, not till the very end of the story did he remember that he dropped it and had to come back for it. Along came Munch Crunch Mouse. She looked inside the mitten. She hopped inside the mitten. It was warm and soft. This is where I'll live, she squeaked. So Munch Crunch Mouse curled up inside. Then came Hop Stop Frog. He looked inside the mitten. He hopped inside the mitten. It was warm and soft. This is where I'll live, he croaked. So Hop Stop Frog and Munch Crunch Mouse curled up inside. Remember how the frog sounded? Croaked, right? Next came Fleet Feet Rabbit. And remember the word fleet means fast. So the rabbit had fast feet, Fleet Feet Rabbit. She looked inside the mitten. She hopped inside the mitten. It was warm and soft. This is where I'll live, she snuffled. So Fleet Feet Rabbit, Hop Stop Frog, and Munch Crunch Mouse curled up inside. They were just right. I'm thinking that if it had stayed just those three, it would have been okay in the mitten. Soon came Smiley Wily Fox. He looked inside the mitten. He hopped inside the mitten. It was warm and soft. This is where I'll live, he, remember? Yapped. He yapped. So Smiley Wily Fox, Fleet Feet, Rabbit, Hop, Stop, Frog, and Munch Crunch Mouse curled up inside. They were getting rather crowded. Look at them. Later came Howly Prowly Wolf. She looked inside the mitten. She hopped inside the mitten. It was warm and soft. This is where I'll live, she growled. So Howly Prowly Wolf, Smiley Wily Fox, Fleet Feet, Rabbit, Hop Stop Frog and Munch Crunch Mouse curled up inside. They were getting very crowded. At last came Grumbly Rumbly Bear. He looked inside the mitten. He hopped inside the mitten. It was warm and soft. This is where I'll live. He, remember the sound that he made? Roared. Yeah, he's a big, grumbly, rumbly bear, so he's going to roar. 
the grumbly rumbly bear, howly prowly wolf, smiley wily fox, sweet feet rabbit, hop stop frog, and munch crunch mouse curled up inside. They were extremely crowded. You know what that word extremely means? It means a whole lot. Just then they heard the old man's dog. Woof, woof. It, remember how the dogs talked? Barked. Out of the mitten tumbled grumbly rumbly bear. Howly prowly wolf, smiley wily fox, fleet feet rabbit, hop stop frog, and munch crunch mouse. Okay, now, remember this part? They're all going to say goodbye. They're all going to talk. And the author is going to use their talking words. So, let's go, roared Grumbly Rumbly Bear. I'm off, growled Howly Prowly Wolf. Goodbye, yapped Smiley Wily Fox. See you later, snuffled Fleet Feet Rabbit. I'm going too, croaked Hop Stop Frog. Oh dear, squeaked Munch Crunch Mouse. It was so warm and soft. They all ran off into the woods. Along came the old man and his dog. The man picked up the mitten and went on his way. And that was the end of that. So there's our book again, right? So now we're going to work on taking the words apart, taking their names apart. And I'm going to bend this down just a little bit, but this is the first. Remember what the mouse was called? This was the first part of the mouse's name. M -un M -unch. Munch. That was the first part of the mouse's name. And to make the next part, all we got to do is we take it apart like this. M -unch. M -unch. So now I'm going to change the first part. Cr -unch. Cr -unch. And there's how you make munch crunch mouse. Munch. Crunch, munch, crunch. All I had to do was change that first part. M, unch, munch. Cr, unch, crunch. All right, that wasn't so bad. Let's look at the frog. Here's the first part of the frog's name. Huh. Uh, hop. We can take it apart like this. Huh. Up. Hop. So to f figure out the next part of our frog's name, here's the first part of the word. What does ST say together? St. Up. Put it together. Stop. So we have hop, stop. Do you see how those letters make the name of our frog hop stop? <laughs> All right, let's do the next one. The next one was the rabbit. Now, this is part of the word. The two E's say eat, but this isn't like you eat your food, okay? So, here's the first part. F, L. Do you know what that blend says together? Fl, fl, eat. Let's put it together. Fl eat, fleet, fleet. That's not a word we hear very much. And in this case, it means to run fast 
fleet to go fast. Fleet. Here's the first part. Fl eat. Fleet. Now check this out. The rabbit's name was Fleet Feet. So do you know what I have to do to turn the word fl eat into f eat? I just gotta take that L away. Now I have there's the first part, p, eat, feet. I just had to take the letter away. Fleet, eat, fleet, feet. All right, so let's look at the smiley, wily fox, okay? I'm gonna make the word smiley. Here's the first part, sm, got it, sm. I, it says its name. L, smile. There's the part that says smile. And then I put a Y on the end and I've made the word smiley. So if we take smiley apart, it works like this. Smiley. Smiley, right? And since he's kind of a trickster, he's very Wily. Wily. Even though I took the first part away, this part still makes the same sound. Wily. So let's go back. Here's the first part. Smiley. Smiley. Wily. Wily. Smiley Wily Fox. Do you remember the sound that Smiley Wily Fox made? He yapped. That's right. Now, remember, this might be a word that you know. Is that a word you know? Huh, ow, how. That word is how. Well, watch this. What do I get if I put a ooh at the end of how? That's right. Now it says howl. And that's a sound that wolves make. Ho, 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 ho. Can you howl like a wolf? Ho. So in this story, that's the first part of the wolf's name, howly. Ho, owly. Howly. Now, remember I told you that wolves are out there at nighttime and they're hunting, right? They are on the prowl. Prowl. They're on the prowl. They're hunting for something to eat. So let's put the owly part back together. Prowly. Prowly. So the fox is, or the, not the fox, the wolf is howly. Prowly. There we go. Now I'm gonna switch it back to Howley for one second because I want you to look at my letters there and I want you to see if you can find the part that says how. Like how are you today? Do you see the part of that word that says how? Look right there, there it is. That part of the word says how. Howly, Howley, Howley Prowley. All right, now, for the bear, the grumbly, rumbly bear. So here's the first part, grr. G-R together goes gr, grr, grr. Um, that part so far, grr, um. Now we've got that L-Y again. Like at the end of smiley and wily and howly and prowly, we've got it again. La, e, the tricky Y at the end. That sounds like an E, but it's a tricky, tricky Y. So now we've made the word grr, umbly. Put it together. Grr, umbly, grumbly. Now, what would I need to change to make it say rumbly? It already says grr umbly. How would I make it say 
Er, umbly, rumbly. Guess what? I just got to take the G away. Now, it, here's the first part. Er, umbly, rumbly, grumbly. Watch. Grumbly, rumbly, bear. All right. So even though those words might sound tricky, when you, when you slow down and really take a look at them and find that they've got some things that are in common with each other, right? Like um, you just got to change that beginning part. If you can figure out the word munch, guess what? You can figure out the word crunch. If you can figure out the word grumbly, you can figure out the word rumbly. Okay, if you know the word hop, guess what? You can figure out stop and easily read the characters' names as well. So that's all for our word work video number two. Um, join me in video number three when we're going to write about a new animal that decides to get into the, um, the mitten. I wonder what it will be. See you in video three.